Hello, my name is JP, and my YouTube channel is called Kids Loves Math. Today, we'll be learning about place value. I started learning place value in grade one, and we still learn place value now. So, what what is place value that is so important? Okay, let's look at the number 14, for example. What does 14 really mean? To understand this better, let's just draw it in a place value chart. So we have two digits. Four would go into the ones place, and one would go into the tens place. So, so we can see that the number 14 is 110, 110, and four ones. So, the next question is, what does 110 mean? 110 is made of 10 ones. As you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 110, or, or a bundle, would equal 10 ones. In, in, in order words, the place value system recognizes a 10 as a bundle of 10 ones. Ten ones equals to one bundle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ones. Let us use some straws to show how this works. Here, I have five groups of straws, and each one contains 10. So, if we have 110, 110 would equal to 10 ones. 210 equals 20 ones. 3 tens equals 30 ones. 4 tens equals 40 ones. And 5 tens equals 50 ones, or 50 straws in this case. So, how do you think we would write it? So, 50 simply is 5 tens, then 0 ones. Now, go, now, going back to the previous questions, we can see that 14 is, this would be, one bundle or one ten and four would be four pieces of straws or four ones. You can see that we have one in the tenth place and four in the ones place. One would be one bundle or one ten because we go up to nine and if we go one more, that is now 10. And we have to regroup one to the tens place. Then we have here four pieces of straw or four ones. Because after we regrouped, we have four ones remaining. The idea of place value will help make our lives easy when counting numbers, especially when you have large numbers or are counting money. Imagine if you had five packs of your favorite lollipops given by, by your mom. 110, 210, 310, 410, and 510. Now, let us assume that each pack contains 10 lollipops. If you open one, one, one pack and give seven of your friends, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, what we have is, we have one, two, three, four bundles, which is 40 ones or four tens. Then we have three ones. So the total is 43 lollipops left. How would we write it in a place value chart? Let's see here.
you should always start by the ones or write the ones as the first thing in place value. Then you write the number inside and then move towards the left. So here we would have four packs or bundles. Then we have three ones or three pieces of lollipops remaining. We can see that place value helps us to know what numbers represent or how much it is worth. 43 is worth four packs and three and three pieces or three single lollipops. Now let us extend the lesson to a three digit number. Example, let us look at the number 537. In this case, we will have three headings starting with the ones and on the right hand side and then moving towards the left as follows. Let me just write the place value chart. We would write the ones on the right side. And let's put the number up top. So seven would go to the ones place. The tens. Three would go there. And then, does anybody know our next place value chart that's beside the tens? Well, it's the hundreds. Then, this, the number that will go here is five, because five would show 530, and then all by itself is seven. So, we can see how many groups are in each place value. We have 500 lollipops, 30 lollipops, which can, is in three packs or sachets. 500 would be in five boxes, and seven and lollipops would be in each pack, ones or single lollipops. So you can look at the hundreds, and as you can see, there are five hundreds. So you can imagine that each box containing hundreds of lollipops, one hundred of lollipops. So we can write here one box, number tier two would equal two. 100. For 5, it would be 500. You can see that place value is important. It helps us to know what a number represents, as we have shown here. Later, we will see that place value system helps us in doing addition, subtraction, and multiplication, and so on. In, in doing addition, we add together numbers in the same place value chart. For example, let us imagine that Cora brought 23 chocolates to share with her class on her birthday. And Minda brought 34 chocolates. So we, so we would have Cora, Minda, 23, and 34. So if, in addition, we cannot add 3 plus 2 or 4 plus 3. We have to add the numbers that are in the same place value or or in the or is in the same place value chart. So three and four are in the same place value column. Two and three are in the same place value tech column. So the total would be three plus four, as we all know, is seven ones, and then two plus three equals five. Tens. So we get one, two, three, four, five tens, and one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. So we would have five tens, seven ones would equal to 57 chocolates. Okay, I hope you understand. Is, is This is how we do addition. You see how we move 
from two digit numbers to three digit numbers. In my next lesson, we'll be extending the place value to the thousandth place, where there will be six columns. Then after that, I'll give some examples and exercises. Bye! Au revoir!